A press conference was held by the government this week revealed the intensity of the economic situation in Egypt. We are at a very critical period. Our growth is barely 1.5 percent. We have a huge budget deficit to deal with and public debt at a record $230 billion. We must reduce spending and the budget deficit. A host of steps were announced aiming to balance the budget and expenditure. Two new taxes were ratified this week, a tax on capital gains on the stock market, and the second was the real estate tax postponed for five years. To reduce subsidies on energy, the government increased price of gas for homes and electricity for homes and heavy industry. Subsidies on fuel for cars will also be reduced over five years. Meanwhile, tax collection system will be addressed as well to increase revenue. Taxes here amount to 8% of the national income, whereas in North African states and others in the continent, it reaches 25 and 28%. We must improve the system. The government insisted that these measures will only affect the rich and aims at creating social justice. Our main and foremost aim is to protect the poor and needy. Any subsidy reductions will be on the rich and gradual so that the normal citizen will not feel it. Egypt has only been relying on loans and grants from Gulf states to help keep the economy floating. The new measures, however, have been well received by the IMF. A statement by the institution said the new policies adhere to the conditions set to offer loans and technical assistance to Egypt, frozen for three years. Egyptians celebrate the election and inauguration of a new president, Abdel Fattah al-Sisi, this week. But they know that once celebrations end, a tough mission is ahead for everyone to put the economy back on track. Yasser Hakim for CCTV, Cairo.